so my little cherry tomatoes are growing. Oh, there's more right underneath there. Has that one started yet? I don't even know if it's still there. I had these outside and uh, something kept taking them. Basically, I'll show you how I do these. It's basically you take just a fresh, um, you know, little cherry tomato and <laughs> slice it and you drop it in some dirt and within like a week. So we're going to separate these. Yep. We got spinach coming up, finally. Finally. Got a little baby rasp bush. Raspberry bush is doing good here. Like by May 1st, these might open. Oh, that one's like almost ready to open. I think if the sun came out, it might even open today. Rhubarb is looking good. Garden needs weeding, but I'm gonna wait for another week for that. The raspberry bush is looking great. More little ones coming up in the corner there too. Be splitting this up probably uh, this fall. And then another uh, uh, rhubarb there. And our uh, hollyberry bush, which is <laughs> looking sad. Uh, I may have to do something about that, but it's coming. And then today, look at that. Look at that. It's hard to see. Oh, it's not going to focus. It's not going to focus. There we go. That's a little tiny strawberry coming up right there, a little strawberry plant. Right there. Um, we got more tomatoes. More tomatoes. Sunflower. Um, basil. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. The peppers are looking good. And uh, we jump up here. Christmas trees. So the only one row of flowers is coming up here and they're very, taking a long time to grow, but whatever. So we're going on to our second month of quarantine or lockdown or whatever you want to call it. It's now May 1st. Look at all the garbage out here. Um, so yeah, we'll go this way. This way it looks nicer. Yeah. Interesting time. <laughs> so, Hal Alice and Haley made a verge bird feeder type thing with Cheerios and a string. So Alice is trying to attract the birds. They're not coming, Daddy. Yeah, I know. Apparently bugged for breeze and yeah so I've soaked his head with baking soda and soap and everything else luckily he only got a little spray because it was for breeze and for breeze knows him to a point but you got too close come here there you go get rid of your stink You good? So the, the, the funny thing is, is Alice turned around and said, well, it really smells like skunk over here. And I said, no, it's just the green bin because it's been warm and the green bin needs to go out. And then all of a sudden I got a whiff of it and it was like, yep. So there's an opening in the fence over here. And I'm assuming because of the trees you can't see that uh, he ran down there as Febreze was coming up and they uh, 
ran into each other. And now Febreze has been around it before and they've been fine. But I think it was just the thing. He must have got startled. But at least it wasn't a full spray. It was just uh, just a little little shot to the face. But at least it doesn't seem to have gotten in his mouth actually, so which is good. Ugh, crazy times, crazy times. Thank you.